My name is Bernie Cantorna. I have uh, two children, both in the State College School District. My oldest is a junior, my youngest is in seventh grade. I am also the high school rugby coach. Myself and Larry Coons and his son started the team about eight years ago. Uh, we run probably 100 kids through the program every year, boys and girls. Uh, we, we all donate hundreds and hundreds of hours a season to those kids, you know, thousands over the last eight years. Um, I am also uh, a lawyer in general practice here in town. My, my background generally is I, I'm, my BA is in accounting. I was a CPA before I went to law school. I actually was in audits and coincidentally did audits in municipal organizations and school districts and uh, found it terribly boring and thought law school would be more interesting and, and I, <laughs> I've been in practice here for about nine years. Prior to, to general practice, I was actually uh, a clinical pro professor at the University of Wisconsin Law School uh, and I was a public defender. Um, I'm committed to the, to the school and the school district uh, not only because I have my kids here, but I have my kids in the program. I, I care about you know, what's going to happen in the future with, with our schools, the high school, all the other schools. I, I'm invested in my kids. I want them to have you know, the best opportunity that we can offer him, the, them, facilities that make sense, that they're important decisions that need to be made in the future, and, and they'll affect this community for a long time. And uh, I followed them very closely, and when I saw that there was an open position, um, I cared enough about it that I wanted to uh, play a role in those decisions because it, it affects, you know, we all want to, to have the best for our kids, and it's going to affect my kids, I hope. Maybe it won't. Maybe we, these decisions won't reach my kids. Maybe they'll be out of high school before they're ever made. I, I don't know. But they'll affect the kids that that will come after them, the kids that I'll coach. And, uh, and I'm, I'm very connected and invested in, in the school. And uh, that's really why I put my name forward. Um, I, uh, I don't have any allegiance to anybody on the board. Most of you are looking at me for the first time. You might know me through reputation, and I rely on, on that. I, I, my reputation is, is well known, I think, in the community. And um, my goals and interests are to see that are the same as yours. Put the, the best uh, education we can for and use our dollars smart. And 20 years from now, look back and say, gee, we really made right decisions, and, and this worked well, and I'm glad I was a part of it. So that's why I'm here. What do you see as the biggest challenge facing the board, and how do your experiences, educational background, and skills position you to work through this challenge? Well, obviously the biggest issue facing, facing this board is the one that it was faced, I think, over the last 12 months, and what you're going to do, what the board is going to do as far as facilities uh, that are going to be utilized for the next 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, I think the challenge for the board is to um, make the, the things that you're relying on to make those decisions well known among the public and build a consensus with the public uh, to make a decision that is supported by the public that makes sense. Uh, I think, I, I speak frankly, I think that the public, and I include myself in that, wasn't really when the decision was made on the high school, for example, when it was made, they didn't feel that they know they knew why it was made. Um, what were the driving factors in making that decision? What were the demographics 10, 20, 30 years from now? What really was the need that we were trying to fill? So it's not only making the right decision based on the right factors, but then it's building public support for that decision. And that, frankly, can be quite hard because there are a lot of diverse uh, uh, groups out there. There are some folks who say we shouldn't spend any money, and there are others. And 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 to that that group, I say I'm sorry. I I think probably the most basic and fundamental job that government does is to educate their kids. It's the one thing that uh, is the equalizing force or factor in in the United States. It can take somebody with nothing to a position of an upper middle class background in in a in one generation. So it's probably the most fundamental important thing that we do. 
but you can't do it without, without the support of at least a majority. And there always is going to be a vocal minority that says we shouldn't spend anything, but this is the one area where it is important to make decisions where money has to be spent. This is not something that government should not be doing. It's very important. So I think that's your real challenge. That's the big challenge. July 8th, 2006 was a seminal moment in the history of the State College Area School District. On that day, over 200 people testified in addition to almost 800 uh, written t testimonies entered in a record setting um, Act 34 uh, hearing. It was left to this board to interpret the will of the people that day. If you had been on that board, what would your interpretation have been of the public's desire that day, and what would your subsequent actions have been? Hindsight's 2020. It's, it's pretty obvious that the public at that point did not support the, the building project as proposed. Uh, when you're at a meeting with that many people, you don't have, when I say hindsight's 2020, you have the vote. So the will of the people is fairly clear now. At that meeting, it was pretty clear that there were enough people that were concerned and upset about that decision. So you, it was time to stop and, uh, and go back to a process that opened it up, made public what factors were, were driving the decision and try to build a consensus for, uh, for that decision. Uh, so I hope that answers your question. But obviously at that point, uh, it was uh, stop, um, regroup, and address the issues of all those people that had raised. What do you see mm -hmm. as the single most important role you can play as a school board member to support the success of every student in our district? Okay. Well, I, I guess I, I see the, the role of the school board as um, making big policy decisions and substantive decisions that uh, affect the school district 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. And you're providing the, the students and the teachers the, the tools that they can uh, use to, to teach the kids. I, it's not a school board uh, members. And it, it, generally, I mean, I, I'm a little different in that I do actually, as you coach, you actually do teach kids. You really, I mean, you may be coaching rugby, but you really you're teaching them and mentoring them and dealing with them in, in, in lives. And the things that come in their life every day. But as a school board member, I'm not so sure that that's necessarily a role. I think it's making those substantive decisions, policy decisions, and setting a direction for a very large entity that moves very, very slowly, kind of like an oil tanker. So I don't know that in you know, two years you can make huge changes in the direction of a school district, but over time it goes to a place, and the, and the things that you do now, it's very hard to, you know, they, they're inevitable. They, they lead somewhere, and I think that's the role of, of um, a school board member. And then it's the administrators and the teachers that have to do all the hard work. Well, I thank you for the, for the opportunity. I, I don't take, uh, I, I didn't take this decision lightly. I realize that uh, the job I'm asking to, to do, prob I've said this before, I, I don't necessarily think it's going to be a fun job. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of hours. Um, but I think it's important. And, and I thought it was important. That's why I put my name forward. And, that, and that's why I'm sitting here. Uh, I happen to see the other two folks come through. You had two very good applicants. I, I think, you know, no, nothing but good should come from this. And I, and I wish you well in your in in your pro, in, in your, your decision. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.